hello guys and welcome back so now from this video onwards we will start adding all of the sounds so first we will add our player sound and in order to add the footstep sound we will use the animation clips okay so for example we are inside the zombie land one let me actually go inside the prepare this is our default Okay, so let me open this up now in the player we have the female character and then we have this animation then we have this animations right here so now for example if we click on this fork let's add our model there and as you can see our character is walking so now how we will add put step right here what we will do is to move the animation a little bit right here and when the player step down as you can see right right here on this position in the events what we will do we will add a event and let's add this event as step or you can name this whatever you want for example footstep okay click on apply so now we have one event right here now let's add another event on the next step right there okay so add event let's name this as step as well click apply now we have added on the walking let's add this on the running as well okay so the player step down there let's add event name this as step click apply and guys let me tell you that if you name this one as step then make sure that you name the other one step as well let's add an event here and let's name this as step as well okay so now we have added there now we need to add the footstep sound on the jump as well so when the player jump when this foot hits we want to add a footstep sound there so let's add function by the name of step okay and now if you move when the player moves the second foot down let's add a function there as well by the name of step okay so we did for the walking running jumping now let's go inside the female shooter right here on the on this one which is this is the idle okay we don't need to add that there let's select the walking and let's add an event here so right here we want to add an event by the name of step click apply now let's move up and then right here let's add an event and name this as step Okay, we don't have anything else that's it let's check the punch punch is in one place so we don't have to add that there the loading is also set up now let's add a script so in the scripts folder let's create a c-sharp script by the name of foot steps sound apply this on the player footstep sound and let's open this up so right here first of all we need a reference to our audio source so we will say private audio source and let's name this as audio source after this create a header by the name of footstep sources and then we need a reference to our footstep sounds so for that we will say public audio clips this will be an array and then we will name this as footstep sounds after this in the awake function we will set the audio source so type audio source get component audio source 
that's it then down below we want to play that sound okay whatever sound is in inside this array we want to play that randomly okay but first of all let's call that function which we created which was by the name of step okay and this is guys let me tell you the step function is actually these functions okay step step okay so whatever you name right here you will need to add that name here as well so right here when we take a step and what we want to do we want to play a audio clip so let's say get random put step okay this will be a function and then we will say audio source dot play one shot we want to play that only one so we will say one shot and we will call this clip and this clip is this one okay now let's create this function in this function we will select random footstep sounds from the array okay whatever sounds we added in the array we will select random footsteps so create a private audio clip by the name of get random footstep then in here we will simply say is it run footstep sound and then we will say unity engine dot random dot range and then for the first we will pass zero and then for the second one we will pass the step footsteps sound dot length that's it let's save the script and now click on the player here is an array we just want to play only one sound okay so we will select only one let's go inside the audio folder we have this player footstep so just simply drag and drop that in there and now you will notice that when we play the game actually let's add an audio source as well because you don't have any audio source okay and make this 3d make the volume for now full just for testing purposes i make my vol uh, system volume as 100 as well let's play it okay as you can see now it plays the sound What we can do is bring this volume down to 0 0.7. Let's play it. And as you can see now, we can now play the sounds. Let's jump. As you can see. It plays the sound wherever we apply that step function. Oops. Let's add this second footstep and see how does it look on the second footstep. Okay, let's drag and drop that as well. Now it will choose between these two and play random sounds. Let's walk. As you can see, now it plays different sounds. So you can actually add two different sounds as well if you want. Okay. Now let me close the game and voila. Like this, you can add different sounds your player footstep this is how you add footstep sounds to your player now with this done see you guys in the next video
in index city let me tell you that before ending this video that you can end, uh, add footstep in the same way as you did right here to the other players as well just simply select that player go inside the player animation and for example here is the jump then you can play that animation and add the function and then add the footstep script to that player and it will play the animations okay